Abuse Benefit Drop Network Purpose Research tool Valuable Research tool Drop Purpose Abuse Valuable Benefit Teens and electronic media, a dangerous combination. Electronic media can be very useful research tools for students, giving them all the information they need at the push of a button. However, they can cause a student's grades to drop. Spending many hours in front of a screen for entertainment purposes means that you spend less time studying and doing your schoolwork. Another serious problem of electronic media abuse is a social one. Since you spend so much time watching TV, surfing the net, reading magazines, or playing computer games, you are wasting valuable time you can spend with your friends and family. Electronic media are a great way to keep in touch with friends and family who live far away. Still. They cannot replace the benefits of communicating with people in the real world. Tips on using electronic media safely 1. Set a time limit. Give yourself about 1 to 2 hours a day to use any type of electronic media you want for entertainment. 2. Never do your homework or study while you're using electronic media. Three. Don't use electronic media in your bedroom. Keep all sources in the living room and out of your bedroom. 4. Take a break to stretch out your muscles after an hour of sitting. Also, after your time is up, do some kind of activity that will exercise your body and your mind. 5. Remember that not everything you read on the internet is true. People are not always who they say they are, and teens often make bad decisions about the things they share. Think carefully before you type or post. You can't take it back, and it can cause a lot of harm. Media Addiction there are so many different types of electronic media around us. We use our smartphones and tablets to keep in touch with friends, check the news, or simply entertain ourselves. And we can carry these devices around with us all day. There are those of us who use media devices too much. Many people suffer from media addiction and spend hours on the internet every day. Although they can be useful research tools, most students use their devices for entertainment or to chat online. The more hours they spend playing games online, sending emails and chatting, the less time they have for schoolwork. If you think you have a media addiction, here are a few suggestions on how to stop it. Set a time limit. One of the best ways to control your media addiction is to record how much time you spend online. This way, you will see how much time you waste each day online when you could be doing other things. Setting a time limit, such as giving yourself an hour a day to use any type of electronic media for entertainment, will immediately help stop your media addiction. 
Get a hobby. Nowadays, there are so many different activities you can do. So why sit in front of a screen when you can play basketball with your friends? In addition, spending too much time on the computer probably means you are not getting enough exercise. This can cause obesity. Getting a new hobby such as participating in team sports, joining a chess club or even enrolling for art classes will have immediate results. You will feel better about yourself because you achieved something or learned a new skill. Friends and family The more time a person spends online watching TV or surfing the net, the less time they spend with family and friends. While electronic media are useful for catching up with people who live far away, Networking and chatting with friends online can never replace the benefits of meeting people in the real world. Once you are out and about, you will realize that talking to people face to face is much more fun than over the internet. Although social media are a big part of a team's life, it is important to try to use it as little as possible. That way you can make time for schoolwork, hobbies and face-to-face -face time with family and friends.